You probably know by now the annual Army-Navy game will be played at Gillette next weekend as we take a live look at the stadium tonight. But keep in mind that theme is a week-long kind of thing as WBZ's Paul Burton found out today. From boots on the ground to cleats on the field. On Saturday, the city of Boston hosted the third annual Army-Navy flag football game in Jamaica Plain. Today, we welcome Army and Navy onto the field. From the official coin toss to pass breakups, service members on both sides showed off their skills on the gridiron with big catches and quick feet. These are active duty uh, serving uh, uh, Army, active duty serving uh, Navy. Uh, many off the Constitution, off the USS Massachusetts for the Navy, and in the recruiting command for the Army. Battling it out on the football field. This one is extra special because the real Army-Navy game will be played next week at Gillette Stadium. This game celebrates perseverance and the pursuit of excellence. And it's also a reminder of all our dedication for you, ladies and gentlemen, to be serving our country, so thank you. Both Army and Navy put it all on the line. The purpose of the event is to raise awareness in the community about those who serve. Because I really don't get to work with the other branches, so this is really fun. The biggest thing, I think, for me is just the camaraderie and everybody coming together and playing. Um, this is just kind of like a little precursor we do in Boston. This flag football game marks the unofficial start to a ton of events leading up to the 124th rivalry of the Army-Navy game taking place at Gillette Stadium next week. And while this is all fun and games, next week's competition is very serious. In the end, Army had the edge and beat Navy 22-6. to Go Navy! Go Army. But today, everyone is a winner because each one of them serves. In Jamaica Plain, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.